This video is sponsored by Rockler. So if you guys saw my office setup video back in November, you're probably already familiar with this piece, but I'm only now just posting this build video because I am somewhat of a known procrastinator. But anyway, I think this piece is something that would look great in any room of the house. But for me personally, I've been using this to store all of my bulky camera gears among other things that really have nowhere else to go. And also there's just a lot of surface area on top for setting up my cameras for when I'm shooting content for this channel and it's also home for charging all of my devices that can't go on my charging wall up here. So like I said this cabinet's really been an essential piece of this office and if you guys want to build this um, there's actually plans and cut lists available in the January edition of the Woodworkers Journal magazine and I believe Rockler will be posting the plans on their website for you guys to download for free. And I'm not sure when yet but as soon as they do I will drop the link in the description so check back when you get the chance but yeah let's get to the build So we've got the outer panels of the case all made and the dados cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use dominoes for the glue up to help simplify the process as well as provide some reinforcements to the miter joints. And then I'll use the actual measurements of the case to determine the final sizes of the partitions and the placement of the dados on those partitions. But before gluing those in, I'm gonna cut a notch on the front corners of those panels so that they can slide forward to be flush to the case. So uh, yeah, let's glue up the case and I'll spray some finish finish on it and once that dries we'll move on to the storage. Getting all of these partitions attached took so much longer than I expected, but everything is in place now and I kind of just want to do something easier. So let's start attaching the doors. And for that, I'm going to use Rockler's concealed hinge drilling system to help with positioning and drilling the cup holes for these inset soft close hinges I'm going to use. And if you haven't used this jig before, I have a tutorial video on Rockler's website, which I will link down below. And finally, I'm going to add a magnetic catch that will help hold the doors closed as well as preventing them from swinging too far into the cabinet. So let's do this.
right, so the doors are installed and the last piece of storage left to do are the two drawers. And I'm really obsessed with using these blunt tandem drawer slides because they sit underneath the drawer box so they're hidden when the drawers are open, which is super cool. And of course, these have the soft close feature, so that's definitely a plus. Anyway, um, if you take a look at the plans, it calls out for quarter inch ply for the drawer bottoms, but I'm actually gonna make the entire drawer box, including the bottom panel with half inch ply because I actually ran out of quarter inch ply and I'm just too lazy to go out and buy a whole sheet just for two drawer bottoms. So that'll be the only deviation that you'll see between my video and the plans, since I'll still make the drawer front with three quarter inch ply. So um, with that said, let's get started. Alright, so let's move on to the legs. Now, I'm gonna keep this really basic. It's actually something I saw either on Pinterest or Etsy and I just really like the look of it. So if you take a look at the plans, it's just two five inch tall blocks on either side with two slightly shorter stretchers in between. And I'm gonna use cross lap joints to glue them together. And you know what? I'm gonna make these a little bit more interesting by adding a chamfer in the lower corners here. And <laughs> that's it. So let's get these eight quarter wall to melt and cut the size and then I'm gonna swap over to my dado set at the table saw to cut the joinery and we'll get the legs assembled and finally we'll attach it to the top with some figure eight fasteners. So uh, let's get this project finished up. Alright guys, so that is it for the build. Like I said, this is such an important piece in my home office setup. It sits perfectly underneath the wall control panels where I charge all of my devices and anything that doesn't fit on there gets charged on top of the cabinet because, well, we can never have enough power banks and you know, among other small things. And these cubbies are nice and spacious for all of my larger items like my slider, my teleprompter, and if I remove the shelf from this larger cubby, it can even store some of my tripods. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like the design of this piece and you know, let me know in the comments if there's something you would have done differently, maybe some different storage configurations or different types of legs. But I hope you guys liked the video and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,